Imagine living in a society where children as young as 10 are injected with heavy-duty hormones that, in, that stop their natural bodily development, that stops the development of their genitals, their body hair or their breasts. Now imagine living in a society where children are encouraged to believe that they live in the wrong body and therefore are in need of these hormones. That encouragement comes at school and is paid for by the state. Now imagine that the clinic that administers this hormone to children, some as young as 10 years old, is accused of covering up the negative effects, including increased self-harm among the children involved. Well, you don't have to imagine it because that's exactly where we are. In 2017, it was reported that more than 800 children in the UK, some as young as 10, 230 of those 800 are under the age of 14, some as young as 10, are being administered with this hormone by the NHS. And the drug company responsible for this is giving money to the Liberal Democrats. So imagine again, imagine that a political party is encouraging self-ID as the Liberal Democrats do, encouraging greater need or greater use of a hormone delivered by a company that gives the Lib Dems money. So Lib Dems encourage it, more people take the hormone, makes more money for the drug company, more money to give to the Lib Dems and round and round we go. Because the Lib Dems are all over this self-ID stuff. And Jo Swinson, the dreadful, dreadful leader of the Lib Dems, even admits she doesn't understand all this. She's no, it's not about science, she said. Imagine that. So this is where we are. And just how immoral does it get. When your politicians are happy to spread and encourage destructive, dangerous, delusional madness among children who then decide to take hormones administered by the state who gives money to a drug company, who then gives money to the Lib Dems. This is shocking and scandalous and it makes you wonder, or at least makes me wonder just who and what we are governed by. This is experimentation on children, the destruction of the normal development of children, the absolute exploitation of children who overwhelmingly suffer with self-esteem and identity problems. This is a natural part of growing up. But these big drug companies and this trans thing, let me tell you, someone somewhere is getting very rich from this and now we have an idea who. But these drug companies are relishing this, grabbing these children. And then you have the trans activists who are grabbing these children as well. All of them exploiting them and either making political capital in the case of trans activists or making money in the case of drugs companies. The Liberal Democrats don't care about all that because they're getting money for it, which they can then use to promote more of the same. You have to wonder who governs us. What exactly is sitting in our parliament? Because if you can, in any kind of good conscience, inflict this misery upon children, then you should not, you, you, you should be in jail, much less running the country. A scandal. And Labour are no better. Labour want all this self-ID stuff too. Labour also encourage children to hate their own bodies and, and inject hormones into themselves to destroy themselves mentally and physically. And the results? Well, the negative ones, let's cover those up. Doctors object, let's get rid of them. This is scandalous. For Britain, we'll stand up to it. Read our manifesto. We have a real plan to stop this trans madness in its tracks and to stop this exploitative abuse of children. It is disgraceful and it is profoundly immoral.